hey, I am starting off another art vlog. Hopefully this one will be really good because um, after the last one you saw, I made another one. And I just, I didn't feel like it was very high quality and I didn't like the painting I did in it. So I didn't post it, but I think I might still, I don't know, maybe on a week where I don't film something. Anyway, I have um, a due date for art coming up um, for my AP art thing. I have to submit a painting in like three days that I'm just starting now. But it's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. Um, and I'm going to do it in acrylic, which is kind of different. And it's so cool. I can't wait to tell you all about it. But I'll save some of that for the voiceover. Um, also, I guess I'll show you my outfit right now, then I will maybe get into the painting. Cool. I'd like to see my outfit. Well, my room is a little bit... There you go. There's the outfit. I'm wearing Ford socks. Um, my room is a little bit dirty, just a little bit, so I need to tidy it up before I go to bed. I also have work in the morning at 8, which is no fun. And I was, like, moving around in the first clip because I needed to pee. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if the thing about this stuff I'm piercing, it is. It's very big. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's not a bigger gauge. Or if it is, it's like slightly, but yeah, I might just put in the one I had in before. I don't know. But yeah. <sighs> I'm so excited for the painting. Okay. At first, I was going to, like, talk about the painting, actually. Um, then I decided I was not going to. Actually, I think I still will. I think I'll just tell you a little bit about what it's about at the end. Anyway, I am going to read you a poem. Because I was like, oh, I don't have any poem books. What am I going to read? Then I was like, actually, I do have a poetry book. And it's all gay poetry. So that's what you get. This first one is by Ernst Haeckel. Hackel, that scientist dude. You may have learned about him. And it's called Karma. Who paints a picture, writes a player book, which others read while he's asleep in bed. Oh, the other side of the world, when they overlook. His page, the sleeper might as well be dead. What knows he of his distant, unfelt life? What knows he of the thoughts his thoughts are raising? The life his life is giving, or the strife? Concerning him, some cavailing, some praising? Yet which is most alive, he who's asleep? Or his quick spirit in some other place? Or score of other places that doth keep. Hey, it's the next day. Um, yeah, so right now I am going to, it's like, what time is it? It's about like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the night. And then I'm going to put together an outfit for an interview I've got tomorrow. Um, which you're not allowed to have dyed hair or a septum piercing, which is so fun. But I hope the blonde is okay because it's like technically a natural color. And I also think the hair cut looks really good on me. The like short and blonde. But yeah, after I like put together that outfit, maybe I, I think I'll show it just like for fun. And then hopefully I will get done with um, the most difficult third of the painting I'm working on right now. So yeah, that's kind of optimistic. But I really ought to, you know, because it's it, the due date's coming up quick. Okay, let's get to it. Hey friends, bit of an update. The pants I had picked out did not fit. I need a burp, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait for my other ones to get out of the washer or dryer or whatever. Anyway, then, but for the time being, I'm going to work on that. Let me get off, get out of my dress shirt. First. Yeah. Okay. Also, my dress shoes are the like low top Doc Martens. Cool. Okay. Sorry that cut off. I don't have a good way to like stop the voice recording before the video comes on. Um, attention. So it said, or score of other places that doth keep attention fixed and sleep from others chase. Which is the he, the he that sleeps, or he that his own he can neither feel nor see? What isn't it to what isn't it to live if not to pull the strings of thought that pull those grosser strings whereby? 
We pull our limbs to pull material things into such shape as in our thoughts doth lie. Who pulls the strings that pull an agent's hand? The actions continue his, so we being gone. The deeds that others do by our command, able it, we know them not, are still our own. He lives who does, and he who does still lives, whether he wots of his own deeds or no. Who knows the beating of his heart that drives? Blood to each part, or how his limbs did grow. If life be not but knowing, then each breath. Hey, it's bang. It's one o five. I have made significantly less progress than I thought I was going to, and so I have these conflicting things. I need to get this done. I also, like, need sleep. Like, I want to be well-rested for doing an interview tomorrow. I know it's not that serious, but, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin my self-worth on that, I think. Um, so, I'm gonna have, like, some taquitos. Uh, then see how I'm feeling. I keep looking over this way. Um, cause the painting's over there, in case you didn't, that part. Ugh. Is it, like, actually taking me this long, or am I just, like, distracted? I don't know. It's a little bit excruciating, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> I think once I get past the meat on the bottom, I'll be fine. And I also, this is a day, the, today and tomorrow, I don't have that much time, but the next two days, I should be able to stay up pretty late and have a lot of time to do it like at least six hours each day which is definitely enough to finish so I'm not too worried about it you know I just I would I, I would like to get kind of close to the goal I set for myself which I did not so taquito time update it's like right after I filmed that part I've decided no taquitos actually so sad I'm just gonna go to bed honestly at this point I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be useful Really, it's just gonna take me like a long time. Anyway, I want to show you my palette. There. Okay. And this is acrylic also, which I think is additionally frustrating because the paint keeps drying super quick. Um, so I'm gonna go put that in the freezer and brush my teeth, think ready for bed. <coughs> Paint's good though. Yeah, um, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, dang, I wouldn't normally use a paper palette, but I just happened to get some, so. I'm using it, and it's working all right for this. You know, I, I like to use a glass palette or a tile, that way I can scrape it off, um, and it's reusable and whatever. Uh, anyway, good night. I will, you know, hopefully, update y'all tomorrow on how stuff's going. I, yeah. Okay. We were at, if life be not but knowing, then each breath we draw unheeded much must be reckoned death. Men's work we have, quoth one, but we want them, them palpable to touch and clear to view. Is it so nothing then to have the gem? But we must weep to have the setting too. Body is a chest wherein the tools abide, with which the craftsman works as best he can. And as the chest the tools within doth hide, so doth the body crib and hide the man. Nay, th nay, though great Shakespeare stood in flesh before us, should heaven on importunity release him, it is so certain that he might not bore us, so sure but we ourselves might fail to please him. Who prays to have the moon full soon would pray, once it were his, to have it taken away. And now I'm going to be reading The Call by Rupert Brooke. Out of the nothingness of sleep, the slow dreams of eternity, there was a thunder on the deep. I came because you called to me. I broke the night's primeval bars. I dared the old abysmal curse and flashed through ranks of frightened stars suddenly on the universe. The eternal silences were broken. Hell became heaven as I passed. What shall I give you as a token, a sign that we have met at last? I'll break and forge the stars anew, shatter the heavens with a song, immortal in my love for you because I love you very strong. Your mouth shall mock the old and wise, 
your laugh shall fill the world with flame. I'll write upon the shrinking skies the scarlet splendor of your name till heaven cracks and hell thereunder dies in her ultimate fire. Ultimate mad fire, and darkness falls with scornful thunder on dreams of men and men's desire. Then only in the empty spaces, death walking very, very silently, shall fear the glory of our faces through all the dark infinity. So clothed about your perfect loved, the eternal and the eternal end shall find us one, alone above the night above, the dust of the dead gods alone. Oh my god, there we go. I'm so sorry I'm so bad at reading, <laughs> but I also was, like, keeping checking to see if, like, I would start talking again. My mom is knocking on the door. Mom, give me just a second. Sorry. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna tell you about the painting now. That's cool. Okay, now onto the stuff you maybe actually care about. Um, I did the painting with this, like, bluish background, this bluish green, because I knew I was gonna be painting a lot of, like, reddish-orange meat. And so I really wanted it to stand out. And I didn't want to paint it too dark. Um, and so the meaning behind this painting... Well, first of all, I did it for AP art, which you guys already gathered. But we have to pick a theme. And my theme um, was suburbia. And so how does this tie into the theme of suburbia? It's more like... The theme is more like suburbia and um, it's negatives. So this one is really mostly about food waste. Because on the shelf, like, the food looks, like, so pristine. But, you know, a lot of it goes bad and they have to throw it away. Or instead of, like, giving it to people in need, they throw it away. You know, and this happens in, like, restaurants, grocery stores, whatever. And that was something I was pretty upset about. And I wanted to make art about, I guess. Anyway, I was at first going to do, like, a diptych where it was, like... Here on one side is the pretty food on the shelf, and on the next side is, like, the ugly waste. Right, so today is Monday. As you saw, I, um, did to make some more progress on the meat painting. And my really big canvas arrived today, so I'll show you that. It's very exciting, and tomorrow's Tuesday. By the end of tomorrow, I'll be done with the meat painting, but right now I'm gonna go put, with this big, nice brush, the ground layer of that big painting on. It's gonna be pink, so, yep. Alrighty. I was gonna show the canvas blank, I forgot to, um, but it's a pink, magenta, what is it? Quinacridone magenta, there's that really dark spot right there. I hate that. But anyway, that's the painting, that's all I'm gonna do. Kidding, obviously. Um, but it's six by eight, and it's very big. Ah! Here's me in front of the painting. It's, as you can see, again, very big. So, or I'm just very small. I'm not that small. A six by eight. Yeah. Cool. Hi. All right. So it's ten twenty now. Same day as before. Oh yeah, I have got makeup on. I for whatever reason, and it looks stupid. I know. Um, I was playing around with it, and it. But whatever. Uh, so tonight I want to. Clean my room, water my plants, and just work on the painting a little bit. The one, um, not the big one, but the, the one that I was supposed to finish up like yesterday, but I didn't finish it up yesterday. Now it's late. I'm kind of disappointed with myself for that, you know? But, um, yeah, so... Um, but tomorrow I don't have work, so that's really great, and I will be able to get a lot of work done in then. And also some drumming tomorrow, and I'm gonna finish the painting, that one, tomorrow. And maybe even some work on the big, big, big one. Okay, cool. There's a close-up on the makeup more, maybe. It's fun. It's... No, it does not look good on me. Anyway, I'm gonna go make myself an ice cinnamon biscuit now. And yeah, um, I'm so excited to not have work tomorrow. This is gonna be great. And then Wednesday, I also don't have work and I think I'm gonna make this vlog go till Friday. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Okay, biscuit time, yay. I guess burp, I just had the cinnamon biscuit. Delicious, I'm going to maybe do a time lapse of me cleaning my room. Not maybe, I am. 
maybe if I can get a good camera angle. Okay. Oh, it's not too bad. I just kind of need to put away some clothes because I like, I like to just like try on outfits just like for fun, like in the middle of the night when I'm not going anywhere. And then I just like leave the clothes on the floor instead of putting them away. So they're like clean clothes. Um, yeah. Okay. Even when my room is clean, it doesn't really look clean, you know, because there's just like so much stuff in it. But okay, cool. That time for that. So I was gonna do that diptych thing where there's like the second painting of the like trash and I was gonna maybe take a picture of like the trash at work because honestly it's like really ugly there you know <laughs> it's just like gross all the time there's like a lot of food but I was like you know what that's too much effort I don't care that much it's the thing for AP art and the 18 by 24 is like the biggest thing um you're allowed to submit for it so yeah um I just decided to do the the one, the before, and then it kind of implies the after because you know it can't be as pretty afterwards. I hope you enjoyed that video of me like running around like a little ant, picking things up. Um, yeah, so I have a pair of pants there. I remembered I wanted to patch them because you got a hole in them. And I also, I also bought a skirt while I was at Goodwill and the bins. Um, it's like, uh, it's like a skirt, not a skirt. And it looks so cool. And I was like, it looks so cool. And I checked the size and I said size 10. I'm like, I'm a size 10 or eight, like 12. I don't know. I, w I would fit a size 10 though. But it was like a kid size 10 apparently. So then I cut it to see if I could get into it like stupidly. I couldn't. Um, but I mean, it was like probably less than a dollar anyway. So yeah, it's fine. Um... But I'm going to cut that up and use a spare fabric from that for other things. But I'm going to use some spare fabric from that for the patch. I'm going to sew that up. And, oh yeah. I also wanted my plants to... I wanted to show you, like, how much paint I've been, like, wasting. For the, um... Just the thing I'm doing now. This is why I hate acrylic. Because it dries so much and you just, like, waste so much paint. And this is not even all of it. This is just, like... Like, am I even getting 50% of the paint onto the canvas? Probably not. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, another concern was when I was doing the um, ground coat on the big canvas, I used up like a third of a thing of paint in that. I know that's doing the whole thing, but still, it is, it is making me concerned that I'll not have enough paint for it. I mean, I can do so, like I can get more, but it's just be a hassle and it would take time and I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna sew up the pants now. Cool. Yo, I am a sewing legend. I patched the pants. That's the inside. And here's the outside. Um, like, I could use black string, but I kind of want to use a light yellow just for fun. You know? Because it adds like some interest to the pants and I really like it. Hi, I wanted to pop on here and give y'all a little update. Oh, I felt so YouTubery saying that. <laughs> it's 4.25 on Tuesday. Um, I did sleep till like three, which was not the intention. I meant to get up like, like eight hours earlier, you know, but I haven't getting very much sleep recently and I'm like, okay, well, you, know, you need sleep, and um, you're catching up on sleep, so it's okay. I practiced drums a little bit. I ate, and as I said, it's 425. So now I'm going to work on the painting, and I'll probably do some more drumming later on. I don't know if I'll film it, but yeah. I've got to get this done today, and that's stressful. All right, let's get to it. There's the dog. She's up here keeping me company. Taking a nap by the window. Oh, she's so sweet. I also wanted to make note, I don't know if I had said it at this point yet in the video, but um, I was like showing off a pair of like my demonias being like, ah, these are for sale. They're not for sale anymore. Um, Cause I already sold them on my Depop. So I'm gonna put my Depop in the description if you want to check it out because I do have some more boots for sale as of right now and yeah. Um, 
And I'll probably buy the ones I'm looking for, like, tomorrow. Also, just so you're updated. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess I don't know what to talk about now. Hmm. Oh, yeah, another another part of the meaning of the, um, painting is I took the picture inside of, like, a local grocery store. You know, because chains, chains don't look like that. You know, chains don't have, like, cool neon signs and just, like interesting things like that and they're just so boring and just so it's like supporting local business and all that sort of stuff about how like you know and that that ties into the theme also really about like suburbia because it's just like you know at least in my view it's like the suburbs is like either, like, big or, like, small, like, mcmansion type houses, or those just the, like, ones that are all the same, and, um, like, Walmart, and, um, Panera Bread, and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, and in an argument, people will say, like, okay, well, these houses are for, like, housing people, you know, and then I just... My issue is because, like, there there are ways to make housing way better for the environment and also just, like, way less boring. And that has to do with companies, but it also has to do with people, I think, like, I don't know, wanting the most bang for their buck. Um, And so I guess that would maybe mean, like, make housing cheaper. I don't know exactly what my solution would be to my complaints, you know? I'm just a 15-year-old making, like, silly little paintings, but, like... You know, when it's, like, thousands of houses and all of them, they're, like, the same layout with, like, different siding. It just irks me. And they're all built at once. And then, you know, the, like, wildlife is driven out. And so into the future, I'm also going to make um, a painting where there's, it's like... 737. I still have to finish that painting tonight, but it's... I think it's achievable, for sure. Especially because I slept so late, so I'll have more energy. But I've got to take my dog to the lake for a bath now. So I'm going to do that, but that'll be fun. You know, I'll get to swim around a little bit. And then I will hopefully be back by like 8.20. Okay. Cool. I've been saying cool so much. Ew. I also wanted to apologize if the audio is like super up and down. Um, But what I was saying is I'm going to make a painting about like a rat. But make it all like rainbowy and like funky. And zigzag or something in neon because, like, the rat is, like, carrying diseases because the rat was before, like, living in the forest with all the wild animals. And now it's, like, living in the, like, suburb with all the people. Yeah. Um. I don't know. So just, like, I guess my major complaints would be, like, Um, living spaces that are better for the environment and maybe more public parks and stuff for, like, kids to play, um, and just more interesting stuff, like, tearing, like, less tearing down perfectly good houses, um, you know, like, that's why there's, like, no Victorian houses, like, left in Nashville, at least, because they've all been, like, tore down, and there used to be significantly more, and now there's just a few left, and, like, It's so lame, you know? Because most of the stuff here is, like, new architecture, I guess. Man, I'm really just rambling now, but... So that's kind of why I want to, like, move to New Orleans, which is... I do, because there's just, like, a lot more old stuff there. And it's, you know, it's, um... An older city. It's one of the oldest cities in, like, America. North America, I guess. So, I mean, that would be why... I should move to Europe if I, you know, I'm looking for that, but there's no way I'm moving to Europe, you know? So, yeah, but, okay, also, I go back to school soon in, like, 11 days, and I've only done, like, half of my summer homework, which just sucks. So, I'm kind of excited for that, and I'm also kind of dreading it, you know? But I, um... I'm excited about the getting to see people and not doing online school, dude. But also, like, outfits. <laughs> getting us somewhere to wear outfits, too. And, like, yeah. Okay, so as you may have seen, I did not finish the painting quite yet. 
A little bit more to go. Gonna do that now. But I just wanted to show you my outfit. Just the shoes. Okay, also I am considering selling these demonias because I found a pair that's like a slightly different style. They're like a little bit more low top, like down to here maybe. And um, the platform is a little bit less high. And that's kind of what I wanted from these. I might not. But yeah, if you do want to buy these, then I will. Then I will, of course. Let me know. I'll be selling them for like $80, $90. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep them because I really do like them. You know, I just feel like I don't like the way they look on me as much as I'd like the way the other ones would look on me. And that's the thing. Maybe I'll ask for the other ones for my birthday. I don't really know yet. Anyway, you can hear the, what are those, cicadas? Crickets? Cicadas in the background. Ah, painting time. I've had to record this like three times now because I keep missing the cutoff. Anyway, sorry if you guys are having to keep up with two storylines, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing my outfits to school, because I've had nowhere to really wear them, except for, like, work and home are the only places I've been going, and I can't really wear my outfits either of those places. Like, at home I can, but it's just, like, I never get any wear out of it, and never gets, like, actually used, I feel like, so... <sighs> yeah, I've got work at 8 in the morning, not looking forward to that, but I... I am looking forward a little bit to school because I'm gonna be doing not online Hello. online classes. I think I forgot to say in that last video, it's 9.14, so I actually did wake up at a reasonable time. Also, the shoes are a uh, women's size nine. Cool. Um, yeah, even now I'm like considering still keeping them. But anyway, I get, I get both shoes. I don't even know, that seems so wasteful to me. All right, painting time. Cool. Voice over me, hello. But yeah, and I've got some classes um, coming up this year I'm really looking forward to. I think I'm going to be taking four APs and I'm going to be in junior year, which is hellish. That's something out of a nightmare. That's, um, <laughs> One of them is AP art, which I don't know if that makes it better. It makes it maybe more enjoyable. Maybe it'll still take up even more time. But yeah. That is no fun. Oh my god, I'm kind of tired. Um, and I'm going to have two jobs. And I'm going to have the art thing on the side. Dude. That's not, that's not a peaceful existence. This year is going to about to be one of those years that's like super fast when you think about it one way or super slow when you think about it the other way. Like when I think about like what are enjoyable, significant things I did, I'll be like nothing. But when I'm like, what is, what is the like stress I've experienced? It just seems like the year's been like so long, you know, that's, I feel like also how every year is to a certain extent. Um, definitely the online school year. Again, hated that. Definitely not doing that again unless I absolutely have to. Oh, God. <laughs> so here I'm getting near to the end of the painting. Um, some critiques. I don't really like the top of it as much. I think I maybe don't like the lights. They could be neater. And I also don't like just like the big... Like I said, I said it was a light Pepto-Bismol colored blob at the top. And I feel like I could have done some stuff better compositionally, but maybe as you saw early on, I did not actually sketch the thing all at once. Hey. So I finished the painting, as you saw in that last clip. Hooray! Um, I literally hate to be like this. I hate to be like this so much. But I will have like a better quality like photo uploaded to like Instagram. It's the middle of the night and I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow or like tonight tomorrow. So I kinda can't get a good photo of it in the video. But you get the point. Anyway. Um tomorrow I might even put it in the video. I probably will, but yeah. 
check out my Instagram if you want to see the photo. You don't have to like follow me or something. I hate to be I go follow me on Instagram. It's so Anyway, that's really cool that I finished it. And um I don't know. I really like it. I just feel like it's super empty at the top. In a bad way, not in a like rest your eyes way. In a like what even is that, you know? It's just like this like light colored like Pepto Bismol blob at the top with some wires going through it. If that had been like half as big, the Pepto Bismol blob. Bismol, Bismo. Ugh. It'd have probably been better. Yeah, it's a learning experience though. I like also didn't like fully finish the sketch at one point. I just like kind of did it. It was going, so that probably contributed to it also. And I put it up on my wall. And I'm gonna turn it in for AP art. Oh yeah, I have to turn it in for AP art. A good thing I reminded myself of that. Okay, bye.